charge to Goodland, don't we? Yeah, but that originates the county line, I think, that charge, so. I think that's why we set it up. Because it's, it's, it's $25 to get a good one. Right. It's no charge in county. Well, I think we just will tackle them on an individual basis. We have and I haven't had time to look through all of that either, so. I do check with K-Camp, though. There's something telling me that there was an insurance reason or a limitation is the reason we didn't question it any further. Mm -hmm. But the anyway, way it was stated, it was because of the KDOT grant, and that's not. Okay. Uh, I've got abatements 2019-00129 through 142 for you. BOTA order, B-O-T-A. Board of Tax Appeal. Thank you. I struggle with acronyms sometimes. Just... <laughs> My cousin who is an ATF agent was here this past weekend. And he was just throwing acronyms uh, all over the place. <laughs> I just kept having to say it, stop. Yeah. <laughs> City ones, right? Yeah. They're coming out on top, too. Lots that they took over or something. <coughs> Actually, yeah, the, can't be that many lots, so can I? I think this is all of their property. Somehow we're on the tax roll and they had to get them off. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Because I know they were going through a reevaluation, a reevaluation of all of the city properties. Plus, some of those have been on hold, so because we got to cut off for the November abstract, they can't change anything until it's completed. So.
getting off pretty good until that two of them from Bird City. City exempt. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Government is. Well, I think it's his properties that they acquired after the tax sale, I believe. Oh, that could be. Is that Bird, what, Bird City? Yeah. Uh, Something else, then? No. They're, like I said, they're going through a revaluation for, tax, for insurance purposes. And I think it came to their attention that some of these parcels were still on like, the tax roll. Oh. But they're actually owned by the city. Okay. And I might be wrong, but looking at, you know, like 118 West 4th, that um, address wasn't familiar to me. And it goes back to 2015, and our tax sale was in 2018. So they do own the properties. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but they only bought one property at the tax sale. And there are different addresses on the abatements. There's more than one address. Okay, I'm looking for a motion to go ahead and approve the abatements 2019-000129 through 000142. I'll make a motion to approve those abatements. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed, same sign. What were those taxes paid by Bird City at one time? You'd have to ask Amanda, because I'm not sure why they go back to... I mean, I don't understand. 2015. Well, they had, somebody had to pay them if we're abating them. Yeah. I don't understand why they would have been a fan of Maybe we should be asking Amanda. She's going to be in here. Two resignations for the board. Uh, Shannon Barnes, deputy treasurer, uh, she resigned on 12 December 3rd. Uh, Tony Landenberger, she's a transportation driver. Uh, she's resigning, I think the last day would be towards the end of December. Is there a set price that we pay the drivers, or can it, can they get more? Because I had someone telling me that they would they would drive if they could get more money, but it wasn't worth it to them. And like I told them, it was basically a, what I understood. It was more of a it's paid through the grant. That's yeah. If the county wants to kick in more, we could pay them more. But kind of like a donation more than anything because I mean, you can't make a living on that so
Can we go here a motion to go and approve the two resignation letters? I'll make a motion to approve the resignation. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Hate to see him leave. Yeah, me too. Uh, we've got the old business. Why well, don't we just wait till the end of the meeting to get that? Okay. Since we're, we're a little bit behind. DJ, I think you're up first. These are the bids that I required to uh, replace the water pump tank and skid on Unit 18. Okay. Do you have a preference? Um, no, I do not. They're both adequate systems that I've been both checked out personally to make sure this is what would fix and replace what's needed without any further problems down the road. Um, yeah. It wouldn't bother me just to take the, the low, lowest bid. Be superior? No, JD Skiles. Two thousand dollars. Oh, looking at wrong. Okay. That you're comparing apples to apples here. Yes. Okay. Did I mount it? No, I will. It all goes on a frame skid. I just pick ours off of the loader and we put the other one on the pickup and bolt it down. Everything is built onto an actual skid that you can take on and off. And then with the old stuff, I'd probably look maybe later taking some of our my other old parts to maybe consignment option. I don't think we're going to get a lot for it, but I'll save what <coughs> decent parts I can. I move we accept the bid from JD Skiles for $2,932. I'll second that motion. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. And that bid was $2,932 versus the second bid from Superior Industries for $4,254. Big difference. Um, I did apply for the uh, Dane G. Hansen grant to help the NWRPG, and we were denied. I am not sure why, but I was just not able to get the funding to replace some of the water equipment, but we're going to look into other avenues later on next year. Okay. I just wanted to inform you that I tried and was denied. All right. Well, thank you for that. Anything else? Nope. Hey, thank you. Thanks. Well, here. So why don't you come on up, Kelly? I need to know. <laughs> wow. How are you today? Thank you. Thank you. I am just here to report numbers for you. Okay. Um, so outpatients, 4,864. That is up from October. And I thought October was a big month. Yes. October was crazy busy inpatient-wise um, and clinic-wise. Outpatients, um, and, and that includes all lab, radiology, all of those extra services. Um, inpatients was actually down quite a bit from where it was in October. November wasn't quite as busy for inpatients, but we still stayed busy. Um, emergency room at 82 is about the same as last year. Rural health clinic visits were down again in November. Um, part of that was having a provider out for the majority of the month. Um, surgeries were down a little bit, but you'll see those spike way back up for December. Um, specialty clinic at 34. Average length of stay of 3.23. That always needs to stay right around 3 for Medicare. And then swing bed, like length of stay 9.64 that is up quite a bit we've had several um, staying in swing bed for a while to recover which is good for the hospital to have those swing bed days 
Well, it seems like December is always a big month. Everybody wants to get their testing and surgeries done before. Yes, their, there's a lot of colonoscopies in yeah, December. Yeah, they want to get it done before their <laughs> a lot. Medical, <laughs> have to starts over. Yes, and Dr. Lick is actually doing some colonoscopies too because we had too many for Dr. Frankum to do. So um, it's all good news. Good problem but bad to have. News, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Depends on your patient. Yeah. That's true. That's not a good thing. <laughs> That's true. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Brian, Jill, and Grant, I'm sorry. When did you sneak in here? I came with Jill. Uh, 